Hello everyone. In this INR number 89, it is very important for those who are writing NEET PG and FMG exam because this macrophage topic had been asked several times in our exam. So what are the macrophages? So remember macrophages are inflammatory cells and inflammatory cytokine will be produced by them. So they will release several type of inflammatory cytokine but I'm just writing some of the important one IL-1, IL-6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. So these are the important cytokine which they will be releasing. Macrophage can also produce reactive oxygen species which is also called as free radical like a nitric oxide and they will kill the phagocytosed bacteria. So basically they will do the phagocytosis and whatever phagocytosed bacteria is there that will be killed by free radical called as nitric oxide which is produced by macrophages, right? So now uh, what are the types of macrophage and their location? So remember those who have been highlighted in dark color they are all PYQs. Right. So just remember number one dust cells are also called as alveolar macrophage and their location is lung alveoli. Kuffer cell is a PYQ which will be seen in the liver. Right. Microglia is seen in the uh, brain or central nervous system. Remember some of the microglial cells are also getting modified. Remember modified microglial cell this is a PYQ. Modified microglial cell in brain is called as jitter cell. Right. So that is another important PYQ. Splenic macrophage, obviously spleen. Langerhans cells are seen in skin. Osteoclast is a modified macrophage of the bone. Mesangial cell is for kidney. Synovial type A cell is for joint. Histiocyte is for connective tissue. And Hofbauer cell is for the placenta. So these are the various types of macrophages and the location. I repeat only those who are uh, already had been asked in our exam. So Kuffer cell is for liver. Microglia or jitter cell is for central nervous system. Langerhans cell is for skin. And mesangial cell is for kidney. Right. So these are the PYQs which I have repeated. Now I want to tell you this important question which came in DNB exam and NEET exam. Right. Macrophages are activated. When they are activated, there are two types of activated macrophages. Please remember, activated macrophages are of two types. Classically activated and alternatively activated. Classically activated macrophages are called as M1 macrophage. Alternatively activated macrophages are called as M2 macrophages. Right. So M1, M2, these are the <coughs> macrophages. So classically activated macrophages, who will activate them? M1. M1 is activated by interferon gamma and what they will release? They will release interleukin 2 and 12. That is what you need to remember. That activated by interferon gamma and they will release interleukin 2 and 12. And what is the function? See classical. Classical means classical function. And what is the classical function? Microbial killing and pathological inflammation. So that is the function of the classically activated macrophage M1. Alternatively activated macrophage is called as M2 and they are activated by CD4 TH2 cell. So what will happen in this CD4 TH2 cell will release interleukin 456 and these interleukin 456 will activate the macrophage type 2. So this alternatively activated macrophage they will release IL-10 and TGF beta <clears throat> which are anti-inflammatory cytokine. So that is why their basic function of alternatively activated macrophages wound healing and repair and they will prevent autoimmunity. So remember these are very very important point about the macrophage. Classically is M1, alternatively is M2. Classical is for microbial killing and pathological inflammation. Alternatively is for wound healing and repair and they will prevent from the autoimmune disorder. So these are important point about the macrophages. So revise this. You may get the question in your